everyone, this is Chad the Gaming Dad back with you once again with another episode of Fun or Run. This is the review show where we take a look at a game and let you know whether or not it is fun or if you should run. The game in question today is Conquer, Live and Reloaded. So Conquer Live and Reloaded was released on the original Xbox back in 2005, and then just recently it was added to the Xbox backward compatibility list on Xbox One. Honestly, I seem to play more backwards compatible games on my Xbox One than any brand new Xbox One games, but anyway, this game on the Xbox One, it really does look great. This is a remake of the original Conker's Bad Fur Day, a game for the Nintendo 64 that was released back in 2001. So if you remember back, back then, the Nintendo 64 was the family-friendly Mario machine, and very few games on that system were targeted at a mature audience. But Conker was one of the exceptions, and boy did they let you know with all the labeling all over the box. So Conker's Bad Fur Day was made by Rare, the fantastic developers that brought us the Donkey Kong Country games, and then on the 64, many of our favorite collectathons like Banjo Kazooie. And then out of nowhere, they drop Conker's Bad Fur Day on us. Yes, Squirrel. This squirrel was just as cute and fuzzy as the other characters in Rare's more kid friendly games, but that was only the look of this game. Because deep down inside, this game had some absolutely raunchy humor, foul language, adult situations, and yes, a very cute and cuddly look. <laughs> In fact, I think the cute and cuddly look that Conker has made it even funnier when you watch him get drunk, vomit, and be crude to everyone all around him. Ever shall we do? My beautiful hive is gone. Oh, I'll never see it again now. What do you want me to do about it? Please. Uh... So as you play Conquer and you make your way through his bad fur day, it starts off with him waking up from a bit of a bender. No. It's gonna be one of those days. And you go ahead and you platform, you solve puzzles, collect items, and all that kind of stuff along the path, just trying to get back home to his girlfriend, Barry. Conquer's Bad Fur Day had tons of characters and obstacles that get in the way, and how you play this game is you have to try to find a way through those obstacles and help out those other characters that you meet. That's how you progress. Along the way, Conquer likes to pick up some cash, these little talking wads of cash that sit there and berate him as he picks up the cash. It's great. Somebody call for me. Oh, I want some of the dough. Oh. Oh. Yeah, cash prizes. And so you go on and you unlock more areas where the next thing you see is even more crazy and absurd than the last thing. I swear, much of the humor and the crazy situations you get into in Conker's Bad Fur Day, they all fall into the it's so wrong, it's hilarious territory. But yes, they are absolutely hilarious unless you have no sense of humor. There are a few other sections where Conker fires a slingshot, things like that, other little weapons, but primarily this game's an action platformer. There's also a villain in it, in the form of Panther King. And this story is nuts. He wants to capture Conker because his table is broken. And he likes to drink milk, and he sets his cup of milk on the table, but then the table is missing a leg, so it falls over. He wants to get Conker to strap him under the table to replace the broken leg so that he no longer spills his milk when he sets the cup down. Honestly, really. You're going to have to get used to some weird stuff in this game, but let me tell you, it's fun. The other cool thing in this game is that almost all of the other characters that Conker meets along the way have the same distinct rare style. All the googly eyes and everything... Plus, I love all the fun, cartoony music and sound effects. Kind of sounds like an old Scooby-Doo cartoon. I 
What's that? What's that? What's my turn to kick their asses? Frank, just get over there and kick his ass. Frank, for f***ing sake. Yeah, yeah, go over there and kick his ass. Somebody's got to kick his ass. Ain't gonna be so as far as Conker's Bad Fur Day, we have a cult hit on our hands, folks. Just the N64 cart alone can cost over $100. But recently I've seen it go for somewhere around 50, probably because of all the various re-releases. There's tons of different ways to play this game right now. You have, of course, the cart on an actual 64, but Rare Replay, which has been out on the Xbox One for a few years, has the N64 version of Conker's Bad Fur Day included on it. Rare Replay is a great deal because there's 30 different rare games on there, some of them better than others, but a ton of really good stuff on there, and you can find that game super cheap. But again, like I said, the version of Conker's Bad Fur Day that's on Rare Replay is just a port of the Nintendo 64 game, and it really doesn't appear to have been updated much at all. So that brings us to what we're talking about today, Conker Live and Reloaded. Now, the physical copy of this game is also not super cheap. It's around 40 bucks. But if you want to buy it digitally on Xbox, now that it's part of their backwards compatible list of games, it's only about 10 bucks. So that's a good deal. I remember back when this game first came out that it was a pretty big deal to some of us. It took one of our favorite cult hits and gave it a total overhaul. The graphics looked amazing, the sound was better, the controls were better, everything felt great playing it on the original Xbox. There were just a few subtle changes, but overall, it was still Conquer, Just a much better looking and playing version. So now that it's playable on an Xbox One, should you think about playing it today? Is it still fun? Well, I played and completed this game a couple times back in the day, and it's been a while since I last played Conquer. But, doing this review, I was playing it on my Xbox One, and the more I played it, the more it reminded me of why I loved this game so much. Everything I used to love about this game is still there, all the humor, the crude jokes, and things like that, but now, it looks even better on an Xbox One. This thing outputs at a much higher resolution than the original Xbox, or even the 360 did, and it's so nice to play this on a modern TV, in all of its glory. Now, one big addition that they added when they made Conquer Live and Reloaded was that they added online play, sort of a multiplayer shooter type of a level, kind of like Call of Duty. However, nowadays, none of the Xbox Live features work anymore. But, one cool thing about the multiplayer part of this game is that you can play against bots. So if you really want to see what it was like to play multiplayer Conquer game, you could still do that, but I wouldn't recommend it, it's not that great. I tried it for a while just to see, and even though there are bots there, it's just not quite as exciting as it otherwise would have been. So really when you get this game, all you're really getting is a nice remake of Conker's Bad Fur Day. I honestly would say just ignore the other stuff. So as I'm playing this game to make this video, I'm finding myself laughing out loud, LOL. And still enjoying the movie references, crude jokes, the humor, like I said, it still holds up today. I like how every other character in the game has a very strong personality, and they usually also have a very strong English accent to go with it, that even Conker has trouble understanding at times. Okay, what's your name? Beardy. Beardy? You haven't got a beard. No. Beardy. I scare beardies. Oh, hey, Birdie. Um, so how you, can you help me? It's hilarious how he'll just break the fourth wall, look at you, and go, Do you know what he said? I don't understand what he said. <laughs> Stuff like that's hilarious. And then, of course, you can't forget the, uh, well-endowed Sunflower. Yeah, she looks better than ever. In fact, I'm gonna go plant a garden right no now. No way. Ooh, that big tail of yours is far too tickly. <laughs> <laughs> As with any platforming game, though, there are some frustrating spots where you have to make a tough jump or something like that, but they usually don't last long, and the more you play, you actually do get better at the game, and you can kind of avoid some of the frustration going forward. Overall, Conker's Bad Fur Day is a great game to play today. Honestly, to me, it's a breath of fresh air compared to much of what we get where games seem to be made and produced 
to make money. Well, back when they made this game, Conquer was made to have fun, and that's exactly what it is. So if you have an Xbox of any kind, whether you play it on the original Xbox, the 360 backwards, or on the Xbox One now that it's backwards compatible, heck, even if you play the old card on an N64, you should play Conquer's Bad Fur Day if you haven't played it yet. Because Conquer's Bad Fur Day, it's fun. Hey, I'm here. Hurry up. Pick me up, head. Excellent. Jetpacks and bullets. Here we come. Hey, thanks everybody for sticking with me and watching the entire video. I hope you liked it. The best way to help out the channel is to leave a like, leave a comment, and tell your friends. If you'd like to support the channel further, there are links in the description. But otherwise, always remember that you never outgrow video games. My name's Chad the Gaming Dad, and we'll see you on the next one. So long, everybody.